Hello, I'm Rob Hayes, the Clean Water Associate with Environmental Advocates of New York. And today I'm joined with Assemblymember Richard Gottfried, the chair of the Health Committee of the New York State Assembly. Assemblymember, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with me today as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Happy to be with you. It's an important date. Absolutely. Um, and so, as we know, 50 years ago, people came together to fight for a healthier world across the U.S. and across uh, the, the globe. And today, facing a public health crisis, we see that clean air and clean water are just as important as it was 50 years ago. Can you share a little bit about what Earth Day means to you? Well, it's all about a, a set of pretty fundamental concerns in our, in our society. Uh, you know, everyone certainly talks now about global warming and, and uh, uh, the fight to really save life on the planet. Uh, but, you know, even before people were focusing on that, uh, we have a, an endless variety of fright, fl fights uh, against pollution, against uh, environmental hazards that are that are deadly to us uh, chemicals in our water chemicals in the air uh, preserving natural resources like and and protecting them like the Hudson River uh, it's just a, a very broad collection of uh, big and complicated and often difficult uh, but very important issues Absolutely. So much has been accomplished, but so much more work to do for the future. Um, and I know also, I believe this is your 50th anniversary uh, of the first election uh, to the New York State Assembly for you. Uh, uh, so that, congrats on that as well. Uh, I won my first primary in June of uh, 1970 and took my seat in January of 71. And uh, so this is my, my 50th year in the Assembly. Uh, you know, about two weeks into my first term back in January of 71, Nelson Rockefeller, who was then governor, proposed constructing uh, an, a, an interstate highway on landfill in the Hudson River from, uh, from the Battery up to uh, 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 about 42nd Street, uh, which came to be called Westway. And the fight against that project uh, went on for, I guess, well, for about 20 years. Uh, and a large part of that fight became an effort uh, to, instead of building an interstate highway, uh, create what became Hudson River Park. And so for 50 years, I've been involved with fighting first against Westway and then for the Hudson River Park, which was finally created through a bill that I carried in 1998. And since then, I and the other local elected officials have been fighting uh, to protect the park, uh, protect the law that creates it, and make sure there's adequate funding uh, for the development and maintenance of the park. That's a fantastic story and really shows how you have been a true environmental champion for decades. Um, and I'm wondering too now looking ahead to the next 50 years, what is the environmental accomplishment that you hope to see most in the near future? Well, I guess within, within the, the, the scope of, the, of New York State and the legislature, a couple of things. Uh, one is a, an issue I've been involved in uh, since the early 80s, which is uh, environmental health hazards, uh, pollution of our groundwater and drinking water, uh, particularly. And uh, I was part of public hearings on that issue in the early 80s and have been working on it uh, right up to today with uh, getting let, holding hearings. Uh, many people remember the Hoosick Falls. Uh, PFOA contamination issue of a couple of years ago that led to, uh, to new legislation in New York that I helped to write uh, on emerging contaminants in drinking water uh, and trying to uh, make sure that that law is strengthened and, and enforced. Uh, the other major issue that the state plays a role in is 
uh, reducing our reliance on uh, uh, you know greenhouse gas producing uh, energy sources and moving us as close to total use of uh, uh, renewable resources like uh, wind and solar and water power uh, so that we can reduce our reduce pollution in New York and reduce our contribution uh, to global warming. Great. And we have so appreciated working with you um, on both issues of clean water and of reducing fossil fuel emissions and truly moving New York to a fully renewable economy. Uh, so we're incredibly appreciative of all your efforts and are really excited to keep working with you uh, in the New York State Assembly in the years to come. So Assemblymember, thanks so much again for taking the time to chat with us. Well, and thanks for all that you do.